this is our third lecture on soil chemistry in the previous lecture we have studied about components of soil and uh, under that component of soil we have studied that uh, minerals present in the soil now in this lecture we are going to study about uh, what you call that is organic matters or humus so in various stages of decay plant and animal matter consist of organic material we know that organic material is everywhere organisms live in soil because there is a space in between uh, that uh, soil particles is captured by the plant roots microbes worms insects and small mammals also and bacteria and fungi and other microbes are decomposed dead plant and animals everybody seen and observe in the farm also and uh, many organisms help minerals in soil forming by uh, so organisms uh, we know that earthworm is a friend of farmer that's why it is called as a friend you know uh, decaying materials release nutrients in the soil and that nutrients uh, release the nutrients acts as a good component for the soil humus humus you know that organic material combines with mineral particles where other decaying material forms organic soil particles called humus humus is a uh, dark brown to black in color and uh, it has a high holding capacity of water and uh, it support the plant life and the soil which contains more than 20% of humus uh, of the soil particles called organic soil and uh, after knowing these all we must know the functions of humus there are actually nine functions of the humus uh, humus helps in the make soil fertile and provide nutrients to the plants and microorganisms it has a high source of energy of plants on decomposition of it forms a several acids and that acids helps in the degradation of that soil particles water insoluble and uh, it is behaves as a weak acid also has high capacity of retaining water as it is a porous nature has capacity of an iron absorption over it reduces the surface tension on runoff and erosion of the soil uh, provides exchangeable and available cations and possesses property of adhesion and cohesion so these are the functions of the humus even after knowing the functions of the humus we must understand what are the compositions of organic residue so composition of organic residue uh, it is make up of a green plant around uh, 32% of the carbon is there 75% of water hydrogen is 1% oxygen is 8% that are the uh, components of the soil and uh, then we must move to the organic residues uh, organic residue means that is the organic matter which we know that in under that organic matter it is divided into two parts that is organic and inorganic and under the heading of organic we can find the nitrogenous and non nitrogenous nitrogenous is also further divided into the water soluble and those are the nitrates and the water insoluble those are the proteins so under non nitrogenous it is divided into three parts first one is the ether soluble that is wax fat uh, what we call that is a uh, wax and fat with that one uh, gel type of material and the other one is the miscellaneous lignans are there and the third one is the carbohydrate under the heading of carbohydrate carbohydrate is further divided into the three parts that is the soluble sugar hydrolyzable starch and the insoluble cellulose and the, under the heading of inorganic there are only two compartments are there that is the water as well as mineral matter and mineral matter is the example as ash sulfate phosphates are these are the main compounds so this is about the organic residues uh, that is the unding up decomposed matter of the material now we must focus on the sugar so that is the carbohydrate which comes under the non nitrogenous and organic so sugars soluble organic substances soluble organic substances are the first to get decomposed because they offer very readily available source of carbon nitrogen and energy 
are the microorganisms. So this is the glucose C6H12O6 6, 6, 12, 6, 0, 6 is the formula of glucose which on oxidation 6 moles of oxygen that is a 6O2 that on uh, reduction with this glucose and this uh, oxygen it produces 6 molecules of carbon dioxide and 6 molecules of water and uh, when nutrients on or oxygen supplies are restricted the microorganism uh, microorganism excretion a number of partially oxidized compound, compounds in addition with oxygen carbon dioxide is also released sugar on sugar on oxidation so why i am saying sugar because there are many sugars are present so sugars on oxidation get converted into the alcohols and alcohols on oxidation gives those various type of acids and these acids are lactic acid, formic acid, acetic acids and like and which on oxidation of organic acid that releases the carbon dioxide and the water molecule. So, so there are some uh, soluble nitrogenous compounds. Nitrogenous compounds are also gets attacked by micro microorganisms and to liberate nitrogen N2 in the form of ammonia which smells everywhere under various conditions. So this is RCH2, NH2, COS, this is the amino acid which on hydrolysis that releases uh, alcohol RCH2, OH plus ammonia and plus carbon dioxide. This ammonia and uh, carbon dioxide when reacts further to produce uh, ammonium carbonate in presence of water that second reaction indicates and the liberated ammonia when carbon ammonium carbonate occurs, when this liberated ammonia and carbon dioxide in the presence of reacts water, in presence of water reacts to produce the ammonium carbonate. And the conversion of amino acid and amides to respective ammonia is known as the ammonification. And uh, this, this is about the content uh, of this one. In the next chapter, we will study about the soil components, further soil components soil its definition and its many more things thank you for watching this video